One of the many reasons we love Fridays is because we get to hang out with our friend Christopher Lloyd from the Film Yap. He lets us know what movies are out and gives us his honest review. Yeah, you're always going to get an honest review from Chris, <laughs> whether he liked the movie, loved it, or was just kind of meh right. about meh. it. Meh. I don't think I'm a mean critic. No, no not you're not at all. That's a whole shtick that people do. I'm yeah. not, I'm not no, you're just no. an honest critic. And I right. love that you're honest about everybody's taste is going to be different. Right. Because this is my opinion, mm -hmm. not what your opinion should be, but yeah. just right. a little guideline. Okay, talk to us about this big one, Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire. So this is a sequel to the last time they fought, but if you saw the last one, you know, they fought and then they kind of, you know, hugged it out, so Aww. to speak. So <laughs> I think you know what's going to happen with this one as well. <laughs> the follow-up is, you know, is uh, Kong is now living down in the underworld of the cost and Godzilla, so one rules on top of the earth, the other one inside. But of course, things aren't going to stay that way for long. Uh, Kong ends up fighting this entire uh, world of other giant apes just like him, but guess what? It's not so ideal, and there's a terrible, evil king who wants to take over the surface. So there's going to be, end up being uh, big fights, uh, more big apes, more big lizards, as Mike had put it. It's, it's big ape and big lizard versus big ape and big lizard. And yes, there are some human in it, in it too, Rebecca Hall. Uh, Brian Tyree Henry is in it, and we don't really care about them. Just get back to <laughs> big monsters. Yeah, uh, I mean, just it, it, I saw this last night with my boys. They really enjoyed it. It's just a big, dumb, fun movie. It's, it's a popcorn movie. Yeah, it's and there's like, nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with fun popcorn movies. Turn your brain off mm -hmm. and just enjoy. Just yeah, enjoy exactly. it. Yeah, I love that. That's really fun. I love that you took your boys too. Yes. So the in the land of the saints and sinners. How about this one? So this is another Liam Neeson film where he, you know he's a Older man with regrets, seems very quiet, but has a particular set of skills. We, we, he's, yeah. been, he's been milking this since the Taken movies for 15, 16 years now. But this is a good one, a good iteration. It's set in 1974, Ireland. He plays what everyone thinks is a book collector. He actually is a hitman. Decides he's, it's time for him to give it up, try something else, but then the troubles come visiting his doorstep. Uh, some IRA terrorists ah. uh, with Carrie Condon as their lead. If you remember her, an Oscar nominated actress from a few years ago. Yeah. She actually plays the villain in this and uh, a nice twist there. It's not just, you know, alpha males whacking on each other. She's actually quite, <laughs> quite scary. Yeah. Uh, and just things build to a big conflagration. Very tense, kind of a more of a pot boiler type of film. Okay. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's going to keep doing these movies until we don't want to see him anymore. But yeah. I mean, uh, to me, it's like the same as the Marvel movies. As long as they're good, I'll go see them. Right. Yeah, okay, people cool. keep watching it. Talk to yeah. us about They Shot the Piano Player. So this is an animated film. Um, stars Jeff Goldblum does the main voice in it. But this is not for kiddies. This is a, actually a documentary or a docudrama because uh -huh. it's somewhat fictionalized. It's kind of about uh, the roots of Bossa Nova in Brazil, but really about a particular piano player, Tenario, okay. not famous. Uh, who disappeared mysteriously during all the military dictatorships that were happening there in South America. And so it's sort of an exploration of this guy, his legacy, where all the musicians loved him, um, but he really wasn't a name and then just sort of died under mysterious circumstances. So very interesting wow. film. Uh, and uh, yeah, not what, not what you would normally expect for a uh, animated film, but again, very engrossing, very involving. And if you love uh, Bossa Nova, yeah. Samba Jazz, as yeah. they call it, Definitely a great, uh, great listen. The animation yeah. looks incredible. I know, it look, looks yeah. unique with that animation. Yeah. So, karaoke, how about this one? Uh, this one I did not see, but it looks cool. It's okay. an Israeli film. It's about a middle-aged couple who they have this uh, new guy moving to their apartment building who's like mysterious and very wealthy and he invites them, hey, why don't you come over for some karaoke? Huh. Uh, and they don't really do that. They're kind of having their own issues in the marriage. You know, things have gotten a little dry and dull. Um, but it sort of sums up uh, being a real thing where they just opens up and they have, so having lots of fun. His wife really gets into it. He kind of comes out of his fuddy-duddy shell, and but then that creates new conflicts between them that they didn't really expect. So this one's out in theaters this week. Definitely looks cool to me, but uh, haven't seen it as yet. Do you have a go-to karaoke song, Chris? I don't sing. <laughs> okay, I, don't, I, don't I bet sing. you do. I, I do. What I is do. it? I have several. Uh, Power Love by Huey Lewis or End of the Road by Boyz II Men. Uh, talk to us about Finest Kind, please, sir. So this is cool. I, I hear a lot of people say, hey, Hollywood doesn't make any of those like cool mid-level budget dramas anymore. You know, yeah. they're always making this big, you know, in, it's little indie films or big superhero films. Well, here's exactly this sort of thing. Tommy Lee Jones, Ben Johnson, Jenna Ortega, great cast, uh, uh, directed by Brian Hegelin, an Oscar winner. Uh, and it's a story about these uh, fishermen um, in uh, the, the Northeast. And it's just a family kind of extended and uh, uh, estranged from each other. And they end up coming together. The two half brothers end up going on an uh, excursion running all sorts of problems, kind of becomes a little bit of a crime story huh. in the last half. Very well done, 
very well acted. This has been out on Paramount Plus, but is now just hitting uh, digital and on demand this week. Okay. Definitely worth a look. Cool. Nice. How can people follow along with you and get your reviews delivered straight to their inbox? Head on over to filmyapp.substack.com. Hit that subscribe button. If you feel like it, you can also upgrade your premium subscription and get cool giveaways. Like we're giving away some free tickets to a screening of yes. Monkey Man nice. okay, cool. next week. So we've actually just opened that up, up to everybody today. So head on over right now, right now, before they run out, those tickets and get them for Monkey Man. Kind of a, a John Wick style, of mo style movie that Dev Patel, remember him from Slumdog Millionaire, sure. yes. not only stars in, but directed. Oh, cool. Wow, okay, yeah, that's perfect. So make sure you go there right now, like Chris said, to get entered in for that chance to win. And thank you so much. My yeah. pleasure. Thanks, yes. Chris, we appreciate it. Have a good weekend.